Hello everyone, how are we doing today? In this instructional video, I'm gonna show you how to make these cool PVC horizontal rod holders. These go on the back. I like to put them on the back over the battery. But just to show you, they sit like this. Rods go here. Um, you can see me using them in a, in a video or two probably by now. And uh, how I do it is I use these right here. I have a Atwood vertical mount rod holder. These are meant to go on your wall, but the fact that these are rubber makes them ideal for just screwing them onto a piece of PVC. Um, you can find these. I found these at my local Walmart. They had them there, and they had them at West Marine, but I'm sure you can find them online in many different places. Um, what's nice about these is also they come with the perfect amount of screws right here. Bag of screws that we're going to use those exact screws to screw right into this PVC. Uh, the only thing we have to do is cut two pieces of PVC and use a 90 degree elbow here. So we're doing a five and a half inch piece with three slits and we're also doing an eight inch piece and then we're going to screw that right on top of there. Um, I'm using a saw here and uh, the PVC is one and a half inch diameter PVC, same stuff we use in all of our videos. Uh, this particular stuff is the thin wall PVC but schedule 40 PVC works exactly the same, no difference really. The thin wall is just a little cheaper. So what do we need? We're going to need um, you know, a, a screw driver to screw it in. You could probably do it by hand because we're going to start each hole with you know, what I call a starter hole in the PVC by drilling a, using a tiny drill bit, drilling a little bit of a hole and then using that to easily screw these screws into the PVC. It makes it a lot easier and faster. Okay, so first thing we have to do is cut our PVC. I, use, I like to start with the slits uh, first before I cut a five and a half inch piece. A little, a little cramped in here. You know, these slits can be three inches. They don't have to be exact. If they're short, it's no big deal. I mean, it still works the same. So after I cut the slits, that is when I then cut the actual piece, measure five and a half inches, and cut it. Okay, now the next one. Now we need two eight inch pieces. Um. Two, and that does it for the PVC. Okay, now we have the two 90 degree elbows here and we got some PVC cement. If you don't have PVC cement, you know, regular glue, super glue, anything like that, epoxy uh, works the same. So, here we go. Okay, there's one. And there's two. Okay. okay, now we're gonna attach the rod holders to the PVC. I like to have them facing like this to where the opening is kind of angled towards your chair so it makes it easier to pull one out. And the more supportive side is restricting it from possibly going into the water. So just facing like that. And all you wanna do is get it centered on there and then pull these, uh, pull a tab down Go a little bit further than you would think because they're rubber, so you want it to stress a little bit, stay on there tight. So just pull it down, 
grab your drill, drill a hole right through there where you're pulling it down at, just like that. Put your screw through the hole, and then just give it a few, don't torque it down too much, you don't need to, and there you go. Now the other side, it's gonna be the same thing. We're gonna pull that down as much as we can. Drill a hole. Grab your screw. And that looks perfect right there. So we're just gonna repeat that process on the other two sets right here. There we go, we got one more to go. Uh, this one, it's actually going through the, the 90 degree elbow. It's a little thicker than the pipe. But it's no big deal. I'm gonna have to increase the uh, torque here. There we go. And now the other side. Boom, there you go, that looks pretty good. Beautiful, now let's do it to the other one. Again, when I'm starting this, going a little further down than I think you would. Because of the rubber, you want it to stretch and you want it to be as even as possible. Alright, well, there you go. Got them both done. They look nice and they're going to work uh, just fine. Pretty easy build, only took a few minutes. We're gonna work great on the boat. Total investment, uh, these retailed for about $16. Saw some places for $20, some places as low as $16. And the PVC only cost a couple bucks, so not too shabby. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions, reach out to us anytime. Our email address, info at ultraskip.com. Or visit our website at www.ultraskip.com. Thanks for watching again. As always, everybody, tight lines.